So we're in Pilates Plus Dublin today and Corinne is going to be showing us a few exercises that you can do at home, you don't need a machine, you can do it on the mat to strengthen your core. The first one is a plank. So most people have probably seen some version of a plank. You have to make sure when you're doing a plank that you're keeping your back level so your bum doesn't kick up into a V or also you're not leading too much with your pelvis so that your back is arching. So basically, as you can see, Karina has a nice flat line from her shoulders basically down to her feet. You keep this position. Try and hold this for as long as you can. You can start out at 10 seconds, working up to 20, 30, up to a minute if you can. I'm gonna get Karina now to show you a slight modification if you do happen to feel this in your back. So if she bends her knees and puts them down and still keeps her back level. We're going to show you now another plank. This one is a side plank, but just to use those obliques even more so they're the muscles at the side of your waist, you can see that Karina's feet are twisted. So this is really going to burn her waist muscles all at her side, and it's going to help to keep her core really strong. Because your core, as you know, isn't just the muscles right at your tummy, it's the muscles from your rib cage all the way down to your bottom. Now we have Karina doing some kicks. These have various different names from donkey kicks to kickbacks, different names depending on who's telling you how to do it, but they all have the same result, which is to really work your tummy, your glutes and your legs. You can see that Karina has an ankle weight on, just to make it that bit harder, you don't have to use that. It's great if you can, but to start out, you absolutely don't have to. If you're feeling this in your lower back when you start out and you need to bend the knee a tiny bit, you can, it will make it just a little bit easier. As you can see, Karina is going very slowly up and very slowly down, controlling both parts of the movement. This is really important. There's no point letting your leg fly up and down and have absolutely no control. Form is really, really important. She's keeping her core tight, so she's getting her belly button, pulling it right back into her spine and making sure that everything from her ribcage all the way down through her body is engaged. And now she's just going to hold that leg up there and really squeeze for 10 seconds. Three, two, and one, well done. Now Karina's going to do another Pilates based exercise where she's going to lift up her head, neck and shoulders, bring her legs up to 90. She's bringing one leg in and the other leg out away. As you can see, she's keeping both legs as straight as possible, pointing her toes. She's slowly bringing in. When you bring in one leg, you do hold it for a second and get a little bit of a stretch on it. So not only are we getting the core work done here, you're also getting a little bit of flexibility work in as well. Make sure that you inhale on the slightly easier part of the exercise and exhale on the harder. But for this, because it is a double exertion, you kind of have to just control your breathing. Slowly in, slowly out. Now Karina is going to be doing a scissors exercise. You're lying on your back, you bring your legs up to 90 degrees and then you bring them out to the side, and then back in, out to the side, and then back in. You can have your hands by your sides or as Karina is showing you here, under your lower back, which can help support your back, particularly if you find that your back can arch when you're doing exercises like this. As you can see, she's going out, she's bringing them in, putting one leg over the other, out to the side, bringing them in and swapping the leg that goes on top. Once again, really slow, really controlled. It's all about form. And now just to make it a little bit harder, she's gonna just hold them out for a few seconds. You may even see a few shakes. Three, two, one. And now Karina is going to do one of our favorite exercises in Pilates Plus Dublin called the wheelbarrow. She's going to push back face over the platform on the machine and then pull forward. When you're looking at it here, you can see her shoulders are working as well as her core. And it's really important when you are thinking about your core that you do think about your shoulders because unfortunately, due to the way we sit at desks and in our cars, etc., all the time now, our shoulders round forward a lot. So we need to really work on them and strengthen them as well as working on the actual core rib cage all the way down. 